<clears throat> Listen, I haven't done a video on this, not directly. I think I've spoken nicely about some of it. But, well, here, tell, I've been doing this for two years and I don't even know. I've lost track of all the groups that I have, uh, well, attacked. I, I didn't mean it in an attacky way, but, you know, that is just from my perspective the truth of the matter. So, what difference does it make now? Who else I alienate, right? So, I can't remember who it was, although it'd be easy enough to see, because I think I've got it pulled up. Cindy. Cindy Fitzgerald. She was talking about her 33-year-old nephew, and he's schizophrenic, bipolar. Anyway, that's what they have said. And how sad the life has been, and how difficult... The family has had it, and now they've had to remove him from the home because they're afraid that he's he's just too violent with them. And, you know, all right. First of all, he's not crazy. He was never crazy. He was a star seed that came in with awareness, and he was talking to beings that exist. So, it, your little kids, you know, when, when a kid is small, they can talk to imaginary people, and people just smile and go, oh, how cute. And they don't do anything about it. But the rest of society it really harasses them into losing that. Now, that's all a part of the game. And I'm not saying that. And I know that. And I know they're supposed to lose that ability. But those beings that they're talking to exist. Uh, those are beings that are vibrating in a range that they can reach whenever they're children because they're more open-minded, their range is bigger. They haven't had it reduced by the third dimension and everybody's rules and regulations that we all uh, lower ourselves to and limit ourselves by. So those children, we're talking to beings that actually exist. Uh, Michelle talks to beings that actually exist. This isn't her imagination. And those of you who don't know who Michelle is, well, you haven't watched all my videos, or you would know who Michelle is. So, this nephew was talking to beings that existed, and he kept talking to beings that existed, and he didn't bend it to anyone else's will, and he kept talking to them, and when he got to be of a certain age, when it wasn't acceptable, usually that's about six or seven, then they really started getting down on him. Well, he didn't bend to those rules. He knew those entities were there. Now, you add on to that voices. Do you hear voices? Well, who doesn't hear voices? The, anybody who says they don't hear voices is just lying. You hear voices in your head all the time. The voices you say are yours. You don't even know which ones are which anymore. You, you just assume that if it's a voice in your head that it's you talking, when in reality there's all kinds of voices coming in that are coming in, they sound like they're yours, but you know that they're not. You just don't fess up about it. And these beings do, and that kid did. Now, this is what happens. The little kids, they get it drummed out of them. They get it shamed out of them. So they believe, okay, well, they, mom and dad, the bosses, who, you know, they're better than I am. They're smarter than I am. They know more than I do. That's what everybody says anyway. So these must be imaginary beings. Well, they're creator gods. So the second they say they're imaginary beings, guess what happens? They go away. And they become imaginary beings. Because those kids that you baby are also gods. They're just gods playing like they're little kids. But they're gods just like you are. Now let's get back to the 33-year-old. He didn't bend. He was an absolute star seed. He still is. Doesn't matter. He does what he's going to do anyway, and all of this was agreed upon beforehand. And I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to get you guys to get an understanding here. That he's been, and what set me off is he's been removed from the home because he's violent. Well, if you had spent 30 years trying to convince people that the beings that you were talking to were real and the voices in your head were actually entities talking to you and you had been medicated and doctored 
over and over. You'd been stuck and prodded and poked at and called a liar and and been very treated like a child because I am an old Aryan here. I know how they treat people. I know because I did I was a I was an agency nurse. I worked in those places. I know how they treat people. After 30 years of that, do you think you might get mad? Do you think if you were a male, you might get violent about the whole thing? So the only choice that they've got left at this point is to uh, severely medicate them. Put them in a box, severely medicate them because they will not change. And there are humans there are especially star seeds in human forms that really refuse to change now that's what they've done with people up till now and the funny thing is well you think he was bad well you're going to be surrounded by prisms that will not listen to a darn thing you're saying all of your rules and your regulations and your your things that took you down to 3d they're bringing you right on out so i would suggest that y'all get used to this thinking, that they know more than you do, that you've lost your way, that they've just come here and they know how to get you out of it. Learn to follow the children. Now that, I believe, was in the Bible, New Testament, one of the Jesuses, follow the children. Yeah, that's what that means, is the children... Before they get inundated with all of your stupid rules, they've got the right way in their mind, and the younger, the better. And these prisms can lead you out. The 33-year-old could have taught his family a great deal, and they could have come out of a lot of their problems. But instead, they fought him. <clears throat> and now he's not helpful in the human form to any of them. As a matter of fact, it's gone terribly, terribly difficult. But that was a choice they all made, and that's fine. But I just wanted you guys to know what the true story behind all of that is. Okay? That's the truth. And that's the truth. <laughs> Alright, that's it for me, guys. I'll talk to you later. Love you bunches. Bye now.